The first one was actually a very big success, the first book, and now we're out with the second edition. And in the second edition, what we've basically done here is uh, we've expanded the administration chapters, uh, done step-by-step -step scenarios on how to use data services, how to use load controllers, uh, SLT data loading, and also update the Bob J, the business objects connectivity chapters. So there's a lot of updates in this, and it's also substantially larger. So that's kind of what's new in this book. Well, the first thing you need to do when you actually want to move uh, BW to HANA, it's, um, it's a set of steps that you should go through. Uh, we strongly recommend that people actually use things like nearline storage. Move most of the data over to some other story media and get the footprint down. There's no point of taking all the old data with you that you fr very infrequently report on. Then we go to a cleaning exercise. And I have a 12-step program we outline in, in our book as well, which includes compressing ENF tables, getting rid of persistent staging area tables that are out there, uh, temp table, batch tables, IDOCs, uh, aggregates, statistical cubes. There's a whole step-by-step -step that we explain how to clean the BW system. And the whole purpose here is to have a pristine BW system that is small in size and then it's cost you much less to migrate over to HANA. So when you want to size the BW system, um, what you would start off with doing is uh, you would start off running this uh, program. Um, mm -hmm. So in this program, we find the program uh, out on an SAP note. And the sizing program is in the SAP note 1736976. And in this note, you take you to this screen here, where you basically can run it with high, medium, and low positions. And we strongly recommend that people put them at the high precision level to get an accurate sizing number. Also, you suppress the smaller tables so it runs faster. Uh, and then consider the growth. Once you've gone through the sizing program step by step, and there's outlined a few things like si uh, timeout parameters you should be changing when you go into this program, and it's all in that node. Uh, then you get the output. So here we're looking at the output. And you can see the output size for our sizing es estimates here is basically the column stores is about 1.6 terabytes. And we also have the row store, which is about 71 gig. And in this row store is where we find the master data. So that's our customer master, material masters, and, and vendor masters. And then the transaction data will be out in the column data stores. You also see a breakdown that explains what you're looking for. In this case, about 400 gig goes to the logs. Info cubes is about 313 gig. And then data store objects is about 586. That gives you very accurate sizing. So for our system, we would need 885 gig that we would need to put over to, uh, to our HANA box in memory. Once we have cleaned up the BW system, it's kind of brought that down to size. We have gone through the sizing estimate based on the cleaned up system and we placed a hard order. We're now ready to go a little deeper into the BW system. So one thing we want to do there is we want to run an automatic pre-check program that tells me it, whether or not my system is ready to be moved over to HANA. Thankfully, SAP again has given, provided us that in a standard note. That note is in note number 172-9988. And as you can see here, we start off with the first input screen. And in this input screen, we can then run it against the general, the database, the basis level, look at the connections. We can look at the management, OLAP technology, business planning, system, technical content. It basically runs thousands of checks inside your system to see whether or not you're ready to migrate. In our example, on the output screen, you can see that our database needs to be patched. The patch level is simply too low, and it's flagged as a red output. So we will go, th go through and do that patching while we're waiting for our hardware, and bringing our system up to par, so we're ready for the migration. The idea with this program is that you won't run it just once. You run them in the beginning of the project, then as you start fixing up and patching up the system, you run it again and again throughout the project, and when you finish the migration over to HANA, you then run it the final time, before you put your system into production to make sure everything is fine.
This is a very valuable tool and it's fairly recent. Most people are not aware that this tool even exists. The last program we run is actually an ABAP check program. Unfortunately, many people are not aware that there, you can actually build ABAP transformations inside your BW system, those built maybe five, ten years ago, that are very inefficient. And when you just migrate those over to HANA, they can actually run slower. So you want to get an early grasp over which sort of transformations should be optimized for HANA so you get take all the benefits and advantage of the HANA extract transform and data loads. Thankfully, SAP has also provided a note for that. So in note number 1847431, SAP provides you a check program. And as you can see here, in this program, we start off basically selecting what we want to check. Do we want to check transformations from the 7.0 DTPs? Or do we want to go back to, the, to version 3, like we have transfer rules and update rules in the older BW system? It doesn't really matter. SAP is able to run and check all those for you. So you can see in our output, our first output screen is an online output screen. In this case, we're checking a transformation for COPA, cost and profitability. And you'll see that there's really no issues found in this one. There are a couple of flags that are not the best. The flag is yellow, we might want to take a look at. But this transformation is pretty much ready to move over to HANA, and there are no major issues with it. Another option for output is that you can actually download a file, a spool file, and this file actually contains all the recommendations and all the checks that was done inside of it, and you can use that as a reference as you start fixing it. So combined, the planning phases on the BW side, you have these five phases, where first you would start up with the cleanup and getting rid and minimize your system, then you would go through and you would size it adequately and get your hardware order in, then you run the check program to find out what needs to be patched up on your system, and then the ABAP check program to look at the extract, transform, and load. You're now ready to move over to HANA. And the project itself could be treated as two, two separate efforts. Most people will do a straight database migration. They will basically take their Oracle or Sybase of what they're using and migrate the database to HANA. That's the most common. You do also have the option to do the functional migration. So you, if you want to do that, that includes optimize your info cubes, it includes optimized your data store objects. And if you, there's both automated programs for this as well. Um, when you optimize an InfoCube, it basically flattens the structures, reduces the dimensions inside of it, and makes it much more nimble. It takes advantage of the HANA native features. And the same you can do for the data store objects. So uh, SAP provides two automatic transformations. Neither one of those are actually required, but they do take full advantage of HANA if you do that. Most companies that I work with, they actually do a technical migration. And once they've done the technical, they might take a limited scope on the functional side. It's a bit unusual right now to migrate all your data flows, all your DSOs, and all your info cubes over to the optimized HANA. But that is a possibility if you want to go that route.